What's up guys, my name is Tristan Dubois, and today what you just finished looking at was my Windows 7 Destiny theme that I've been working on for the past few days, and uh, it's pretty awesome, you know, if you're a person that likes to work at a home out of their own laptop, or if you go to school or in college or something like that, this is uh, pretty perfect for you, and I feel that you'll really enjoy it once you get the hang of it. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to install this, but there's first going to be like a couple things that you're going to need to know. One, we're going to be going into your computer's registry. This is kind of the brain of the computer, so unless you see me clicking on it inside the tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys, don't click on anything. I'm going to be making sure that, you know, everything is safe and you don't ruin your computer, but still make sure you know that don't click on anything else. Now, uh, for everyone else that's watching this, if you have Windows 8, I'm sorry, I honestly don't have a computer with Windows 8. I'm not going to be able to show you how to do this, but I will let you know exactly what I'm doing so that you can go out and look up a tutorial on your own. Now, in the description, I'm going to put a WinRAR file. This file is something that's going to contain basically all the tools you need if you're doing Windows 7, as well as all the media that you need to make your screen look exactly like mine was, make it play the exact same sound that mine played, and, uh, you should just be able to click on a Mediafire picture or download or whatever and get everything you need. But once you get those, uh, I'm going to start showing you the tutorial. So I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, everyone, we're back. And uh, if you're here and you're still watching this, obviously you've gone out and downloaded the Windows 7 Destiny theme.rar. And uh, I've just gone ahead and taken it, which WinRAR, of course, is going to ask me if I want to download things, even though it's a free program. Uh, we're going to take this Windows 7 Destiny theme and drag it to our desktop like I already have, and then we're going to go from here. Now, um, when we're doing this, we're going to be messing with the core component of your computer, which is your registry, and we don't want to mess anything up there, so just I'm going to show you how to make a really, really, really quick backup of it. We're going to hit the um, Windows button on your keyboard near your spacebar, and then the R button to bring up this run terminal on the bottom left. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and it's going to ask you if you want to make changes. Just click yes for now, and uh, it's going to bring up this um, this terminal here. Now, in order to make a background, we're going to go export, and just name it, um, put it on your desktop, name it registry backup. You shouldn't need this. It's just a just in case you like are doing something to this and you lose power or your battery runs out or something like that. Everything here should be fine. As you can see, it's on my desktop now. Um, but anyways, we're going to be going through some pretty uh, big lines of code and such. This isn't something that's going to be hard. It's just going to have to be something you pay attention to and don't you know turn and look and say hey what's that and then delete something. So I'm going to go slow and you should be able to find everything pretty easily. We're going to go to H key local machine first, then we're going to go down to software, and it's going to open up all your software. We're going to want to go to Microsoft. This is all in alphabetical, by the way. And then we're going to scroll down to Windows. It should be down here towards the bottom. All right, right there. Now when you open this up, you want to go to current version. It's going to ask you a lot of stuff. We're going to go to authentication, and then log on UI, and background. This is our destination. Now, over here on the right, if I was to click on something, it's going to show you what uh, what's in that folder. Right now, I only have this default regs underscore ze thing. That's not going to stay there. That's not going to be alone for now. What we're going to do is right-click on it and add a new D word or 32-bit value. All right, and we're going to name it um, capital O E M capital B A C K G R O U N D. Now, um, spelling and capitalization does matter, so just make sure that when you spell this, you spell it correctly. Um, and then what we're going to do is double click on it, and it's going to pop up this little terminal right here. Value data, set it to 1. Okay. It should look this, like this when you're done, and uh, that's all we're going to do for changing this. We're going to come back maybe here in a second, so just minimize this, hold on to that window. And now what we're going to do is hit the Windows R button again. And I'm not going to just look off screen and type this. I'm just going to put it up here and I'm going to put it in the description so you don't have to mistype it too. We've got percent winder percent backslash system 32 backslash OOBE. Click OK. This should take you into this folder here. This is in your system 32 folder. Very easy way to get here. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to insert a new folder. Much easier than last time. All right. Now we're going to name this one info. Now lowercase. 
double click on it and in my Windows 7 Destiny theme I've actually included a uh, folder named backgrounds it's lowercase move that into this click OK and this folder contains uh, the background picture you saw earlier now the thing about this picture if you want to change this it doesn't matter the dimensions the dimensions will stretch to fit the dimension of your screen but what does matter is that the size of it is no bigger than 333 kilobytes it has to do with whatever's being loaded into your computer at that time don't worry about it you can change it by going to paint and then uh, downsizing it by whatever percent and it will change the size of your picture but anyways that's the first part of the tutorial that's how you change your background so now if you were to hit control delete it's going to show um, what your current background is or if you restart your computer and then it will show what your current background is um, so now we're just going to click out of registry and move on to the next part in the tutorial alright guys so now we're at the next part of the tutorial this part is going to be by far the easiest and uh, once again we're gonna have this Windows 7 Destiny theme up on the screen and uh, what we're gonna do is change your account profile picture right now as you guys can see I've got a roller coaster because I'm cool like that but I don't want a roller coaster I want my really cool hunter that I made so I'm gonna go into control panel click user accounts and family safety settings change your account picture and then you don't see anything here that you want obviously because I made this it's handmade it's somewhere else in your computer we're gonna go browse for pictures now mine's set to my desktop we're gonna go to Windows 7 Destiny theme and then account profile pictures and find the picture you want now the thing is about these pictures is make sure that if you decide that you want to use something else or if you want to make something else that it's 128 by 128 that's all you have to search and um, that will uh, make sure everything is fine there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the most complicated part of this yes there is something more complicated than changing what your um, login background is and it's actually going to be changing the sound now in here I've added a uh, startup sounds and tools thing and there's a couple different tools in here honestly this is um, probably the most simplest way to do this I spent like three or four hours figuring out how to and uh, it, it took forever so I'm gonna move over and show you guys how to do that but I have to change my setup so just give me a moment and I'm gonna meet you there in a second What's up guys, uh, Tristan Dubois here, and what I'm going to do now is show you guys how to change your background theme song when you turn on your computer, your startup sound. Uh, this is probably the most complicated thing, like I said, and I spent a long time on the internet trying to fix this. Now, I was going to show you how to do it step by step, but I can't show you from safe mode because it actually disconnects my recording software, so I'm going to show you from my computer, and I'm going to tell you when to go into safe mode as well as explain you how to get there but uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is click on your Windows Explorer here and go down to your local C drive now we want to go to Windows all right and we want to go to um, Windows 7 actually excuse me I want to go to system 32 um, from system 32 we want to find the image res .dll. Now it should be alphabetically organized. We want to go all the way down here to I. I am all right, image res image res dot dll. Now I've made a backup. What you want to do is copy this, paste it on your computer, paste another one onto your computer. Uh, where's paste? Paste another one on your computer. All right, um, and we're just going to name it imageres.dll. Um, I'll get rid of this two here. Dot dll. Dot bak, and um, basically this makes it a backup that you can use later. I've already put my backup in here, but you're going to want to drag this into this folder. I'm going to get rid of it now so it's not confusing. Um, and you're going to have your imageres.dll still here on the desktop. And what we're going to do from here is um, we're going to uh, go to Personalize, Sounds, and uncheck Play Windows Startup Sound, and then click OK. Uh, that should 
keep the startup sound from playing when you turn it on. That's what we're messing with right now. So as long as it doesn't get activated, we're fine. Uh, and now we're going to have to go into safe mode. Now, I'm not able to go into safe mode right now on this computer because otherwise I'm not going to be able to record and show you it step by step. So I'm going to tell you right now, in order to get to safe mode in Windows 7, you're normally supposed to restart your computer and then hit the Windows 8 button. And that should take you to an option that says, would you like to restart with safe mode? That is not something that can uh, be done and have me record. And normally when I'm trying to get in there, the easiest way for me to do it is actually just to force that to come up by having like, I usually have like a web browser open and then I hold my power button. That will take me directly to a picture that says, oh no, it accidentally shut down uh, from me holding my power button. Would you like to restart in safe mode? And that's where I restart in safe mode. All right, guys. Um, so because I was not able to change the safe mode, my display adapter actually makes it so that my recordings uh, will stop if I change there. So I'm just going to show you from full screen how to do it in safe mode. Yours is actually going to lose definition. You'll be like 100 and actually like 12,000. You'll be in, you'll be in 720p or something like that, uh, as opposed to being in 1080. So what you're going to want to do as soon as you get into your um, safe mode, what you're going to want to do is go in. Uh, make sure you have your imageres.dll file still on your desktop and open up Resource Hacker. Now, Resource Hacker is uh, something you can use to change certain files like this one. And what we're going to do is go to File and Open. And we're going to bring up the desktop and type in imageres.dll. It's right there. And it's going to open it up and it'll look like this. Now, uh, WAV is what we're going to be going to. It looks just kind of like a registry file. Uh, and it's going to say 580, 5080, open that up again, and 1033. And if you were to play this, it'll play the Destiny opening theme. Uh, and that's what mine is. Yours is going to play the same as the Windows opening theme. But what we're going to want to do is click on this, right click, and replace resource. Now, when you open file and find new resource, you're going to have to find um, Destiny Startup.wav and click open. Now it's going to say resource type. You're going to type WAV E. Resource name 5080, just like I said right here. And then resource language 1033. And replace. Uh, now, if you were to play it, it'll play the Destiny theme song. Um, and that is how you want that to be. So we're going to go uh, save. We're going to save that and exit out of Resource Hacker. Now you've got an image res file that you're going to be putting back into your System32 folder. So we're going to go to Computer, go to C, or your C drive, go down to Windows, scroll down uh, to System32, scroll down to Mic... No, we don't want to go to Microsoft. We're going to go actually find imageres.dll, uh, and you'll be able to see that you've got your backup file here. And you're also going to have your regular image res in here as soon as I can find it, of course, because I'm nowhere near it. Um, right here. Okay. So what you're going to do is grab your image res folder or your file off your desktop and move it into here. And it says you need administrative permission to move this folder. That's why you are in safe mode. Um, I can't put it in here. You'll be able to. And as soon as you get into safe mode, you'll be able to um, move it in here. Uh, move it in and replace the one that's currently in there. And then uh, restart your computer. Everything should be fine. So once you restart your computer, you're going to boot back up into um, your regular logon. Except you're actually going to be seeing the Hunter logo right here. Or the Hunter icon that we changed. As well as this is your background. And... Once you're in here, the last thing you have to do is go to Personalize, go to Sounds, and play Windows Startup Sound. Click that and apply it, and you've got the right theme. So hopefully this worked pretty well for you guys. Honestly, I didn't, um, I didn't think that I'd have problems with the, uh, the safe mode startup recording, but apparently I did. And um, yeah, that's kind of, kind of sad for me. But anyways, uh, make sure that when you're going through, you're making these backups. Uh, like we made for um, the image res.dll and this registry um, just to make sure that in case something bad happens everything is still saved everything is fine and 
hopefully uh, for you guys, this is just a, an interesting way for you guys to customize your computer. I know it's kind of just a, a really, really, really long process, but hopefully it helped you guys out. So if you enjoyed this or uh, you want to help me out, just please drop a like on the video or even better, go to the Bungie website and, you know, give me a link. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day and this helped you a lot. See ya.